Today I want to have a conversation with you about the three deadly presentation mistakes. If you're making any of these presentation mistakes, you're going to find yourself disconnecting yourself with your audience, you're going to bore your audience, and you're going to leave them with not the greatest taste in their mouth. So I want to share with you these three mistakes to make sure that you're not making them. Stay tuned. Hi, Colin Boyd here, founder of Present With Confidence, and today we're having a conversation about the three deadly presentation mistakes. In fact, I see a lot of people make these presentation mistakes, especially when they first come into uh, workshops that are run like Present With Confidence. And they come in and they realize that they're making these mistakes. Now, they can be small shifts that we're gonna make, but they can make a huge difference. Now, the first presentation mistake that I find people make is they lean too much towards their brain preferred style. What I mean by that is, are you naturally left brain or right brain? Some people are naturally left brain driven. So in other words, they like numbers, they like stats, they like statistics, they like graphs. And when they design their presentation, it's highly leaning towards a left brain or maybe you're a right brain. Maybe you like stories, you like metaphors, you know, you, you like um, pictures and images and you lean it heavily towards the right brain. Now the problem with that is that if you don't have a balanced brain approach in terms of your presentation, either you're gonna bore people to death on the left side, or you're gonna miss, I guess, a level of credibility on the right side that the left side actually brings. So the first mistake is it's not a balanced brain approach to the presentation. The second biggest mistake I find is that people don't think about their end goal when they're presenting. So for example, they're thinking about their content, but they don't have a clear idea in terms of what end result they want from their presentation. So whether it be you want the person to take action in a certain area or whether you want the person to think a certain way about an idea or a concept, you must start off your presentation with a really clear end goal. So when I'm training people at Present With Confidence or any presentation skills program that I'm running, I teach people to think about their end goal. It almost reminds me of the Stephen Covey principle around where he talked about in Seven Highly Habits of Effective People, where he says, you know, have the end goal in mind. So start with the end goal in mind. So have the results clear in your mind when you're presenting the end goal, and that will make a huge difference in terms of your presentation. The third biggest mistake that people make is they make their presentation a one-way presentation. In other words, it doesn't feel like more a conscious, constructed, constructed conversation. So a presentation should feel like you're having a conversation with the person. I know for me, you know, when I've sat in the audience with really great communicators, even things like, you know, you might think about a, a 10,000 or 20,000 seat auditorium. If the communicator is an exceptional present, presenter, uh, so I think about someone like a, like a John Maxwell, exceptional communicator. And I know I've sat in sessions with him when he's talked about leadership and shared his stories. It feels like I'm having a conversation with a good friend. It feels like I'm in his living room almost, having a conversation with him. So in terms of your presentation, make it conversational, make it more a casual but constructed conversation rather than a one-way presentation that's, that's quite stark and, and has no um, feeling around it. So think about it from a conversation perspective, not a presentation perspective. So keep these three big ideas, these three big mistakes in mind. Make sure you don't make them and your next presentation will be exceptional, it'll be engaging and persuasive. So I trust you've enjoyed these three big presentation mistakes. If this has been valuable, please like it, please tweet it, come along to one of my uh, presentation skills programs. I'd love to have you along and help you to be a more confident and persuasive communicator in public. Speak to you soon.